Have you ever had to run a batch of parts for a job and they were never consistent on size or dimensions? For example, say you have to machine some castings and we all know that none of these castings will be perfect. So it's up to you to tweak your setup each time you machine a new one. Well, with the Herco control and our probing cycles, we can make your life a little bit easier. With our SKU probing cycle, we can eliminate the need to indicate in each time or even build a fixture. By doing this, you can consistently run large or long parts without wasting extra time setting up. All you need to do is just clamp the part down to the table and the SKU cycle will align the program to your part. To do this, we need to follow these steps. Press the input key, then select part setup soft key. You'll then need to pick the part probing soft key. We need to find our part zero first. So you will want to select the part zero probe cycle soft key. You can use any of these cycles listed on the screen, but for demonstration purposes, we're going to select the plane intersection soft key. And once you're at this screen, you'll need to tell the control which direction in X and Y you want to move, as well as the distance between the probe hits. You will then select start probing cycle and press the cycle start button. Once we have our part zero set, we want to move on to our SKU cycles. So you will need to exit the probing screen and select probe SKU cycle soft key. Now on this screen, you'll see that we have quite a few options for SKU cycles, but for our purposes today, we're going to select two point edge. Now for this particular cycle, we have to move our probe into the starting position using our hand wheel. You will then tell the control which direction you would like the probe to move in the positive or negative direction for that second touch of the contact of the part. Then input the offset between the two probe touches. Press start probing cycle soft key and hit cycle start. In this example, you can see that the probe will make its first bump. Then it will move eight inches, which is the offset we set for our probe for its second bump. Your skew angle results will appear on the screen. You're going to go ahead and hit yes to accept them. And for future reference, you can also find your current skew angle in the part setup screen. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. So please remember to subscribe to our channel, click that like button and hit that notification bell. See you next time.